Hello everyone, welcome to the first ever Battle Roll video. Uh, I've been wanting to do some I've been wanting to do some video content for quite a while and I thought I'd finally get around to doing it. So uh, as this is the first one I thought I'd just start with something simple. I'm gonna do it's miniature Monday, so I thought I'd show everyone all what I've been up to over the last week and and sort of what I'm working towards. So yeah, I've been working on my Stormcast army for the last week, uh, getting it ready for the Face Hammer tournament in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, this is this is my one of my liberators who I'm considering pretty much done in inverted commas for the tournament. Although I have just realised that there's that tiny little rock under his foot I haven't done. Never mind. Uh, so anyway, so uh, for a long time my Stormcast has just been uh, sort of more in this kind of state where it's been I suppose table ready but it hasn't had washes or transitions really on it's just been base coated apart from the armor which I've done with the with my I airbrush from underneath with blue and then airbrush down on silver so to get this guy sort of pretty much done done I'm really really chuffed with it. I'm actually really happy with how he's come out I've gone through all of the blues got some really nice transitions I did that all with the airbrush uh, I even managed to get some airbrush stuff onto the shoulder pads, which is quite small and fiddly, but but there you go. Uh, really like how the sort of purple and pink has turned out for the for the tabard and and stuff. I think it looks really nice, and it just complements the the scheme really well. Really chuffed with that. Uh, so yeah, I've been working on him. Uh, as you saw very briefly, this is this is uh, one of my. He's actually one of my favourite of my favourite models of my Stormcast army because he's he's just I really like the start set and I just convert him ever so slightly to put a grand hammer on him instead of his hammer and shield and I think that looks really cool. Uh, so looking forward to getting this guy finished. Uh, uh, so you can also see I've gone through with a tiny little brush just something this sort of size. Oh you can't really see. This, this tiny little brush and I've used that as like a tiny little dry brush to accent some of the blue areas where I didn't manage to quite get as nice a transition as I wanted to from the airbrushing and that's actually been really useful in getting getting, getting this guy sort of the blue especially up to scratch before I then tone it down again a bit with the recess washing and the silk highlights so that's been really fun. Uh, I've also been working on my castle uh, if you follow me on Twitter you'll have seen this guy pop up a couple of times uh, he is nearing, nearing, nearing completion. I need to finish the cloak, basically. That's that's pretty much all that I've got left to do. Oh, and his and the actual weapon. I don't know what to do with his axe thing here. I'm not very. I, I've never really done like weapons to this kind of standard before, so that's going to be interesting to find out what I do there. <laughs> basically, uh, I might turn down some of his base. I feel like the blue is a little bit overpowering on this one. What my original plan was that the for the hero characters, the like where they've come down from the celestial realm, they've like cracked the earth and it's all like white and lightningy, and then obviously the blue and stuff as well. But I think it's slightly overpowering, so I might go back on with some of the other green and sort of the uh, uh, character stone to to tone that down a bit slightly. So that's where my stormcast is. I've I've also been working on another model, which is pretty exciting. So, my local games workshop in Southampton is doing is their store anniversary in three weeks' time at the end of September. Uh, they are doing a lucky dip painting competition. So, what this is is you, they basically get every uh, every hero, every character, every blister pack from uh, both AOS and 40k. They put it in a big box. You put your hand in. You pick one. You don't you don't get to see what it is. You just you know it's a lucky dip. You pick one, uh, you buy it, you paint it, you bring it to, along to their store birthday, and they have a painting competition about it. And I managed to get this guy, an Auric Mega Boss. I am super chuffed that I managed to get him. I was sort of hoping for him. Like he's he's slightly thicker. The blister pack is slightly thicker. So I did when I when I felt like a thicker blister pack. I was like, oh maybe this might be it. It might be the Mega Boss. Uh, so, and I was lucky enough to get him, so I'm really tough with that, because I've wanted to do an iron, some kind of iron draw stuff for a long time, and I've never wanted to commit to buying an iron or anything, so just picking up this, having an excuse to pick this guy up and paint really well is really fun. Uh, I've sub-assembled the crap out of him. <laughs> He's in, like, loads of bits right now. So, 
I've started it so that I can, I've done this so I can get to every single part of the model. Uh, so uh, I've started by painting the tongue, very exciting stuff going on there. Uh, then I can also paint the like the inside of his mouth and the teeth and stuff, stick that on. Then I can also paint the inside of the uh, skull here, both sides of that, as you can actually see through it once it's all assembled and I want to be able to see it. You know, I want it to be a really good job. Uh, I also need to paint this little shouldery pad thing before I go too much further. And then once that's, I can then sort of slowly assemble it as I'm painting it. And that's something I've never really done before, so that's going to be interesting to try and sort of do that. Uh, I've pretty tough with the base actually. I came up, I sort of had this idea of that he's going to basically he's going to be hold, he's going to like be crushing a, a liberator and have like ripped his head off and holding his head. And so instead, I'm um, basically having like lightning shards come out of come out of the head and also the body where it's where it's been disassembled. I don't know how well you can see because I've based it all black, but you can see like there's like all these little shiny bits which are just made with uh like bits of paper clip and, and that kind of thing. And also he's gonna be then like standing on the liberator and crushing him down into the earth. So you can see it's kind of like rate like brought up these like bits of rock and stuff from where he's like crushing him down and then there's a the liberator shield that's got a big like hole in it from from the mega boss axe and stuff. I think that's gonna be it's gonna be I'm gonna do him in a standard Hammers of Sigma colours. Uh, and then the mega boss himself is gonna be I wanna get a really bright green for the for the skin. And then it's gonna be purple and sort of bronzy Balthazar gold type gold for some of the like different segments of the armor. But I'm gonna tie it down. I'm not gonna make it really bright and bronzy. I'm gonna tie it down a bit so that it's sort of duller and, and you know it, it, it almost looks like it's kind of like iron that's been like painted, you know, not painted, but like, you know, mega bosses like tried to shine it up or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works in the fluff. It's just, I just want to paint it those colors. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's what's, that's what's been going on over the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's it really. Thanks for watching. I hope to do a lot more of these videos. I hope that I get better <laughs> and, uh, and try, try and try and do them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers guys.